Come on, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. It's win-win. I don't see why you even need to bother Dr. Mathis with this. Look, for the last time, our answer is no. You sure about that? I've heard a few things about this lab, you know. Your research is dead in the water without this, am I wrong? Let's hurry onward. Dr. Mathis! I'm Jude Mathis. Sorry to keep you waiting. How might I help you today? Ah, Dr. Mathis. Just the man I wanted to see. I've got an offer you can't refuse. It's about that device of yours. I already told you. It's still undergoing clinical trials. We're not ready to accept any offers. But I hear you've achieved a success rate close to 80% with lesser spirit class spirites. That's good enough for practical use. Sign an exclusive distribution deal with us and you'll find yourselves on Easy Street. We'll decide when the device is good enough. A 20% failure rate just doesn't cut it. Is that so? You're certainly cavalier about your lack of progress. I know how much money has been sunk into this project. Investors aren't exactly the patient type. Of course, I didn't come to a contract negotiation empty-handed. That's a great spirit fossil. Something like that might come in handy for your research. A great spirit? Celsius, perhaps? Yep, the genuine article. Wielded by the leader of Exodus himself. Celsius's fossil sank to the bottom of the sea a year ago, in the ruins of the ESS Zenithra. The Rizamaxian government conducted the salvage operation of the Zenithra. I believe that makes this fossil the property of Rize Maxia. How'd you end up with it? Uh, you certainly know your stuff, Dr. Mathis. Perhaps it's time for you to leave. I know when I've worn out my welcome. I'll bid farewell for today. But I hope you'll give my proposal some thought. For the sake of your research. Don't forget that. Consider it a gift. Although you didn't get it from me, of course. Catch my drift? I'm fine, thanks. I'm sorry you had to deal with that guy. Oh no, I'm totally okay. Thank you so much for coming, Dr. Mathis. Thanks to all of you. Mary, would you put this in safekeeping for me? I don't know if it really is what he claims, but why take any chances? Of course. I'll inform Dr. Balin as well. Thanks, Mary. Let's go. I feel like I understand you better now. Sometimes I can just tell what you're thinking. You always work so hard. If anyone deserves this, it's you. Please, keep up the great work. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this. <laughs> I get that a lot. I get where they're coming from, but we just need more data before we can begin full-scale implementation. If we could begin testing it with great spirits. No, forget I said that. We can't rush into things unprepared.
Yeah, you're right. We're too close to our goal to risk going off the rails now. It's just that sometimes I lose sight of my convictions. Then I don't know what to do. Jude. Thanks. I'll keep looking for an answer. It's out there somewhere. Thanks for coming along, Luger. It felt good to have some backup. Oh, hey, Luger. What's up? Got some juicy news you're just dying to share? You'll have to forgive Leia. She's become a raging scoopaholic. I wouldn't be surprised if she mugged me just to get a story in the crime blotter. Oh, come on. Stop it already. Oh, Chief. Are you chasing down a hot tip? Reporter Leia Rolando would be happy to help. Um, no. Oh, come on. How else will I learn? Very well. Take this to the station. Uh, Chief? I'm sure you're ready for a simple errand. Off with you now. Chop, chop. Oh, did you get a chance to look at that story I turned in yesterday? D minus. The newspaper is not a diet. for your rambling opinions. Next time, try having a point. What were you writing about anyway? Unemployment, the environment, corruption, culture. You can't just write about whatever pops into your head. You need to... I need to do what? Figure it out for yourself. I'm going for a walk. See you later. So that's Leia's boss. Seriously, you think they're Mr. Nice Guy and then BAM! Out come the fangs. People in charge always pull that. But he's a world-class writer. When you read one of his pieces, it's like the whole story unfolds in your mind. I would kill to have half his skill. So that's why you were trying to tag along with him? The man works so quickly, I've never seen how he does it. I thought this could be my chance. Well, guess I better get this to the station. Why don't we tag along, shall we? Thanks. Okay, let's get this done. Listen, Leia. I'm always happy to get texts from you, but... What's up? You sound serious. Hmm? Enough with the emoticons already. I can barely even figure out what your messages are about. And what's with this creepy frog picture you sent over? How the hell is that supposed to look like me? What? The emoticons make texting cute and fun. And the frog has those morose little eyes that made me think of you.
You can't be serious. See? Luger gets it. If there's something you can't quite put into words, you can convey it with an emoticon. Hmm. Got any examples? Well, like... when you're bummed out. Or, you know, psyched up about something. You can't convey those in words? And you're a journalist? I mean, I could, but emoticons are cuter. It makes your mail all lively and fun. It makes the recipient happy to read it. Maybe that's true when normal people use them. But your messages are so packed with emoticons, it looks like some sort of facial expression cipher. Have s some pity for the guy who has to decode them. Uh, fine. I'll be more careful. Great work out there. Today was another tough one, huh? You know, there's nothing I love more than a hard worker. So here, I got this for you. Ah, yes. You have it, then? You that new girl they hired? Yep, that's me. Huh. And you're from Rizamaxia, right? So you guys just borrow power from spirits whenever you need anything? Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. Like, if you get diarrhea or something, you'd need to pray to the spirits or perform rituals to get... Um... You don't have to worry about that here. Our healthcare system is second to none. If you ever get the trots or anything, just let us know. Sorry. That kind of shook me up. I don't think so, no, but that just makes it that much harder to deal with. It sounds like stories of Riza Maxian spirit worship get pretty mangled when they come over. He was a creep. If you let every Olympian misconception bug you, you'll grind your teeth down to the gums. I know. I guess I just get irritable when I'm hungry. You're hungry? Let's just get this back to the chief. He said he was going for a walk. He's probably still somewhere around town. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. A bar would probably be our best bet to get a bite around here. What do you think? Why are we doing this again? Can't you just use your GHS to call your editor? Even if I called, he'd never answer. Finding him on the street is our only shot. <laughs> Researching something? I'll help. Tell me something. Why do we do extensive research? Uh, in order to write articles for the newspaper? Okay, then. And what do those newspaper articles require? Um, well, speed? Wait, no. Maybe accuracy? The station agent you gave the documents to is kind of a creepy fellow, right? Say you were writing an article about him. You think all you'd need is speed and accuracy? If you don't know the answer, you might as well give up.
Seems that way. I guess he knew the guy had issues with Rize Maxia, that he might give Leia some attitude. Maybe that's why the Chief was going to deliver the documents himself. Hmm... If I were to write an article about him... Anyway, he said I should give up trying to be a reporter if I didn't know the answer. Which means if I learn the answer, I can be a reporter! That's one way to look at it. All right, I'll figure it out! But first, I owe you one, Luger. Whenever you need help with your gig, just let me know. Thanks for everything today, guys. Are you afraid of boats? You're all okay. It's the informant lady. I'm Jolene, remember? I just feel horrible about what happened. I don't suppose I could bribe my way back into your good graces. What are these? Winged boots. Just a little something something to lighten your load and make you love me again. What are you talking about? <laughs> a star reporter like you ought to be able to figure it out. By the way, an agent from Spurious is staying at the inn here. Toodles. Maybe she should be a reporter.
okay there, Rolo? What do you want? Uh, uh. Where does it hurt? I'm a doctor. We've confirmed your arrival at Aladi Sea Haven. Recover the data from the pursuit agent and return to Company HQ. Sorry about that. Here's the data. But these poor people. Recovering the data is your top priority. Bring it to HQ immediately. What's so special about it? It's a copy of all the fractured dimension data that the former director Kresnik had collected and analyzed. Huh? Fractured dimension? So you had a run-in with Julius? Yes. We had him outnumbered ten to one, and yet he still decimated us. But at least we got the data off him. Get it back to HQ. It'll really help us improve our ability to detect waymarkers. You all go on ahead. I'll take care of these people. Need a hand, Princess? I prefer the company of Rowan, thank you. This old geezer would be honored to help, young mistress. <laughs> Good thing I have thick skin. You beat up his former co-workers, huh? I want to believe he had a good reason, but... Ooh. Next. Yeah. 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 
Super easy. 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 You copying me? Maybe. Thank you. 